Well, hello, everybody. It's Marty Smith for Full Tilt Poker Report.com and Poker Calculator Report.com. I have Tournament Indicator hooked up on a table getting very near the final table of the main event for F Tops. This was last Sunday night. And here we have Ram Viswani, part of the Hendon Mob, making it very deep in the F Tops main event, coming in for a raise in middle late position. Want to see how this plays out. He's actually at 10.1 if you look down here in Tournament Indicator. So he's barely in the yellow zone. When I'm this close to the orange M zone, I actually consider myself orange M zone because based on the antes, his next hand, he's going to be orange M zone anyway. So we'll see how this plays out. It comes in for a raise, late position. Pot's now 90,000. He's a very exciting player too, one of those players who's very difficult to put on a hand. The big blind re-raises all in. Pot is now 315,000. It's basically going to cost him another 200,000 to come in. Of course he does it. Ace-King versus Aces. Now, now listen. A lot of times you should not let your tournament ride with ace-king, but this is a situation given the stage of the tournament, the payout structure, and his M zone. Where is he in the M zone? He's going to be orange M zone. I would definitely let it ride here with ace-king. There's only a few hands that are going to be better than this. And given the situation, he was very likely to take this hand down pre-flop. This, however, is one of the hands you don't want to see. Let's see how this plays out. Pot's now 500,000. And, oh, wow. As a huge underdog, Ram Viswani eliminates the big blind and nearly doubles up to uh, close to 700,000, putting him comfortably in the yellow M zone. Hey, that was a good play, even though he went in behind he was likely to take that pot down pre-flop. There's only a few hands he's going to be behind. The stage of the tournament demands that kind of aggressive play, and he made no mistake. Now, even though Ramvaswani has somewhat of an aggressive style, very difficult to put on hands, he has adapted his game successfully here for online play. If you look closely at his stats, Tournament Indicator has labeled him an eagle. He is a absolutely playing like a professional and this is one of the typical tight aggressive icon profile icons tournament indicator assigns to your competition but look at his vpip 21 percent pre-flop raise 13 percent aggression factor 1.0 that is a very moderate aggression factor and it just goes to prove that even in big money tournaments like this one, you can get away with playing tight, aggressive, going right through the tournament. And that's no small sample, 76 hands. And I was watching him for a good couple hours, and he had these types of stats going all through the tournament. Here he is again. Uh, a bit earlier in the tournament. Again, 22% VPIP, 14%. Pre-flop raise, 1.5% aggression factor. This is very selective play. And based on that aggression factor, he is not going about this tournament bullying people out of pots. He's waiting for the chips to come to him because even in tournaments like these, based on how many people get in with qualifier, that just means that there are inexperienced players in this tournament as well. And treat it as such. You're not going to be... You know, not every player has invested 500 bucks to get in here. A lot of them only invested 20 bucks. And you have to think along the lines in uh, that low buy-in tournament and know who your opponents are. So he was very selective playing. And we've seen him on the European Poker Tour in, in particular, you know, playing much more aggressive and, and playing hands with a much wider selection. Because in live tournaments, chances are you've paid a hefty buy-in. You can use your reads much better offline, I mean in live tournaments, and he has actually adjusted for this. And I think this is a great example of how tight, aggressive players can be successful in huge field multi-table tournaments, whether they be a low buy-ins or big buy-ins, and there's something to be said for these kind of steps. Now, if you're wondering what these icons 
mean you can go to the tournament indicator, uh, the tournament indicator website, and it basically shows you what the icons mean. And once you get used to seeing them around a few times, then you're pretty much going to know right off tight, neutral. He had a uh, eagle at one point, and then he had a sad face, tight, aggressive. These are, these are basically tight, aggressive players. And to calculate those type of profiles, Tournament Indicator uses VPIP, the aggression factor, and when to showdown percentage. So based on the hands they are in, how they bet after the flop, and how many pots they are in to begin with, that is going to determine their profile. And it is actually quite accurate, and you're going to find you're going to be relying on this. In fact, because it is a tournament, Tournament Indicator actually starts applying these profiles after as few as eight hands. So it's a really handy feat. Now I will tell you later on that Ramvis Wani did open up his game a bit, but that once that was when it got down to, you know, 20 or so players and he finished, uh, you know, quite deep in the money, didn't exactly make the final table, but came pretty close and a great tournament by Ramvis Swanee. Anyway, it's Marty Smith for FullTiltPokerReport.com and PokerCalculatorReport.com. I have a full review of Tournament Indicator on my site at PokerCalculatorReport.com. So you can go there, have a look, some more videos there too. Good luck at the tables, everybody.